Hey, it's Chris. And now that I've had some time to play around with and test out the brand new smart battery case for the iPhone XS Max and for the iPhone XR, it's time for me to weigh in with my opinion. And this is just a battery case. Like, what's the big deal? What's there even to talk about? Well, lots, actually. Just like I've been doing in my recent reviews, I'm gonna start off with what I liked, then I'm gonna hit what I didn't like so much, and then I'm gonna end with the section of things that just didn't matter at all. The first thing that I like here is very obvious. It's just the added battery life. But look, I don't care about the added talk time, which increases to 37 hours on the Max and 39 hours on the 10R. I, and probably most, if not all, of you care more about the increase in internet use, which increases to 20 hours on the 10S and 22 hours on the 10R, and video playback, which increases to 25 hours on the Max and 27 on the 10R. The next thing that I like here, and I really like it, is the simplicity and minimalism. There's no external lights or buttons on this battery case, and that's awesome. There's simply one status light on the inside of the case. And when the case is on the phone, you just check the battery life using the widget or the lock screen, which is better than having to check a row of external lights for the battery percentage, because this is 100% accurate. You know exactly how much battery you've got left, and you don't have to guess what percentage equals what percentage of lights. And this kind of deep iOS integration between an accessory and your phone is not something that you're gonna get with any other battery case. So this is called the smart battery case for a reason. Smart charging, which means your phone charges first and then the case. Actually, which thing charges when is completely managed for you, so you don't even have to worry about it. So if you're using a powerful enough charger, you could actually charge both things at the same time. Your phone will figure it out for you. And yeah, you can fast charge it with a USB PD compatible charger. Also awesome. And new this year, the case is Qi wireless charging compatible, which I'm very excited about. And here's a tip. I've heard that you can charge the battery case and the phone simultaneously if you use both a wired and wireless charging method at the same time. I like the soft touch silicone. It's grippy, it's nice to hold. It's not perfect though, but I'll get to that in just a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and include the looks here in this section while I'm covering the positives, yes. The looks. And I know I said a long time ago that there's not a battery case on the planet that actually looks good, and I stand by that. But if you're gonna use a battery case, then this one looks better than the others. Speaking of looks, despite adding some bulk to your setup, when you're holding it, people probably won't even realize that you've got a battery case on, and that's thanks to the hump being more aligned to the bottom this year, and your hand just being able to cover most of that up. Sound coming out the bottom speakers still sounds good, and it doesn't angle up towards your face, but I prefer that to a design with a bigger chin. Lightning accessories like ear pods still work. It's super easy to install or remove the case, and the microfiber lining treats your phone right. And I'm liking the color options a lot. It's Stormtrooper colors, black and white. You know I like that, I've been saying that for years. At the same time, I'm sure there's some 10R owners out there that wish that there was a battery case that matched the color of their very colorful phone, but sadly, no. Which is as good a time as any to transition into talking about stuff that I actually didn't like quite as much. First of all is the price. 130 bucks, definitely not chunk change, but I would rather pay $10 extra over like a Mophie case to have this official Apple case with its smarts. Of course, this case adds some bulk to your phone, making it thicker and heavier, duh. But people who want a battery case already know that and they're prepared to deal with it. I've seen some other reviewers saying that the extra bulk makes the case harder to hold or harder to use. And that just hasn't been the case for me on the 10R or even on the huge 10S Max. Now, remember I said I like that soft touch silicon feel? Well, I do. But both the black and the white cases tend to attract some dust and dirt. You know, like when you put it down and you pick it back up and it's got some stuff, you can feel it on there. It's not a big deal, but it's worth mentioning because it's impossible to keep 100% clean. When these two cases arrived in the mail, one had 0% charge and one had 8% charge right out of the box. And I've heard other people's have arrived similarly without much charge, so this might not be like a great emergency purchase if you need to juice up when you're just on a trip or something. There's one thing that just didn't matter at all to me, not in the slightest, and that's that this thing isn't water resistant, so you can't drop it in the pool. 
This is not the type of accessory that most iPhone users are probably going to require, but I can definitely recommend it to people who do want or need a battery case. This actually is going to become my day-to-day -day iPhone XS Max case for the foreseeable future, because I just want to know that I can get through the day and then some absolutely unquestionably. But it's not going to become my 10R case of choice. It might, but I use Moment lenses and I use that phone to film a bunch of stuff for this channel. And so I have to use the Moment case for that in order for them to be compatible. So like a phone without a battery case, I'm dying to know what you think about the subject. What do you think about these cases? Do you love them? Do you not? Would you get one? Would you not? Do you have one? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget, you can follow me. I'm at Daily Tech, spelled Daily T-E-K-K -K, on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.